Hey, I'm Kasia Golan. This is Fashion Tech 101, where I'm talking about the new technologies in the fashion industry. Today, I'm going to talk about VR, AR, mixed reality, and holograms in fashion. If you are interested in fashion tech, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm posting videos almost every week. Uh, you can also uh, follow me on social media and uh, if you like this video, please click a like. It makes me very happy. As I said, today I'm going to talk about VR, AR, mixed reality and holograms. But first of all, we got to know what the heck that is. Long story short, VR immerses users into fully artificial digital environment that uh, doesn't exist in the real world. Augmented reality, on the other hand, overlays digital objects into the real world. So you can use your smartphone and see some digital uh, objects, for example, at the table. Uh, if you've been playing in uh, Pokemon Go, you probably know what I'm talking about. And mixed reality, which is very interesting, is something very similar to augmented reality. Mixed reality anchors digital objects in the real world. In the ideal situation, when you wear, uh, for example, HoloLens, uh, it will be hard to distinguish between uh, digital and real world. It's not happening yet, but in the future, when the graphic designs will be better, where CPUs will be better, uh, it will be very possible. So VR and AR and even mixed reality, it's something that we are already using in the fashion industry but uh, the technology isn't there yet. And by isn't there yet, I mean that there are some hardware limitations uh, that we have to solve. There are some software limitations that we have to solve. Software for digital effects and for making graphic design in 3D is uh, very old. So uh, the industry needs a new one uh, to fully use uh, the possibilities that VR and AR are giving us. So as I said, our industry is already using and experimenting with VR and AR and mixed reality uh, in PR campaigns, marketing campaigns, fashion shows, uh, and even in retail. I will give you a few examples of how fashion industry is using these technologies and uh, together we can imagine how it can be used in the future. In my opinion, one of the nicest examples for uh, using VR and AR and holograms and mixed reality that happened so far are the examples from fashion shows. So on the internet, uh, you can find a lot of examples of how fashion industry was using camera 360 uh, in order to record fashion shows and later use it in their stores or on the internet. So for example, Dior was doing this great campaign with uh, 360 technology, as well as Tommy Hilfiger allowed customers to see fashion show in companies' bigger stores, but also for the mapping was uh, used in fashion shows. For example, uh, Ralph Lauren used it uh, to uh, play the show on buildings, elevators. Uh, it was also used during one of uh, New York Fashion Weeks. And recently, Steven Tai was using live CGX uh, at London Fashion Week uh, fall winter 2018 uh, show. But similar technologies can be also used in marketing and retail. And for example, a few years ago, uh, Hector Incarger uh, used some kind of uh, augmented reality and tap to see technology to sell their collection. At some point, these technologies were implemented by fashion magazines. For example, in 2015, Garage magazine made uh, augmented reality covers. One year later, all uh, US also made these covers, uh, which became alive with using smartphones. The other super interesting example of how to make a fashion show digitally uh, is uh, using hologram uh, to that. The first example was Alexander McQueen's 2006 fashion show. In that fashion show, Kate Moss was shown uh, in the very beautiful dress, but it wasn't actually Kate Moss, uh, but her hologram. A few years later, Berber used holograms in fashion show. Uh, they showcased their collection by using both holograms and real models. 
Fashion brands were also trying to use not only Video 360, but also VR and VR games in their campaign. And a nice example of that is River Islands campaign. And in this River Islands uh, campaign, you were becoming a colibar, uh, a bird, and you were flying straight to the company's new collection. And we have also seen the rise and falls of many uh, virtual fitting room startups. This is the future of our industry, but before we have this uh, mature startups and mature projects that will allow us to actually see ourselves in the clothes that we wish to buy, uh, we will have to overcome some challenges uh, in tech world and also in the fashion industry world. Although it's very complex to create this kind of virtual fitting rooms, we already have Snapchat lenses and Instagram lenses and even messenger lenses that allow us to, you know, to fit sunglasses, hats, uh, and even clothes on our bodies and check how we're gonna look in this kind of accessory. So even though there are many challenges, that we are not that far from actually making good virtual fitting room startup. Apart from marketing and retail, there's also collaboration in uh, creating fashion and uh, HTC Vive and HoloLens already allow us to create this kind of software that will help us to collaborate in, for example, designing process. H&M already showcased this kind of software uh, which allows them to collaborate between Germany and Sweden and to create new clothes together. So even though these technologies have many challenges ahead of them, we already witnessed how to use them in fashion and uh, how fashion industry can be richer and better and more sustainable because of them. So hopefully in the next two, three years, we'll have uh, much more examples in AR and VR in fashion, and maybe even in holograms. Let's wait and see in a few years what's gonna happen. Will we have more fashion shows made digitally? Or will we have more digital models that we already have on Instagram? Or will we uh, buy things with use of Snapchat or Instagram lens? Or maybe we'll produce uh, in collaboration with people that are sitting in Shanghai or in the US or any other place in the world. Or maybe we'll have other examples of how to use VR and AR in a fashion industry. Let's wait and see. So for now, that's all for this episode of Fashion Tech 101. Uh, if you like this video, please hit this like. It makes me super happy. Maybe it's here or here. I don't know. Hit this like and make me happy. And if you are interested in fashion tech, uh, follow me on social media and subscribe uh, because I am posting video uh, almost every week. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment in the comment section below. I will answer relevant questions. You can also write me an email or just, you know, say hi. Uh, so uh, hope to see you guys next week. La 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 <laughs> Paweł poszedł, więc powiem wam coś śmiesznego. Pa, pa.